In this video, we're going to talk about the Spring Break Twin, an asymmetrical twin board with a unique shape. You can see how asymmetrical this is by the way the tip and the tail are cut off. Now, this board was one of the best park boards I rode last year, and it stands out. And because of that, you should be looking at it. This board is slightly underrated as a park board, I think, across the spectrum. Other companies might have it, but this one, between its asymmetrical side cut, its flex, its camber profile, this is a board that can do it all in the park, and then you can take it to the mountain. This board features Spring Break's hybrid camber profile, which is traditional camber to about five centimeters past the inserts. Then it goes flat, and then there's a little bit of rocker out in the tip and the tail. This is gonna give that snap and pop of traditional camber underfoot, but it's gonna be easier to engage. While out at the contact points, it's gonna be a little more loose and surfy, which also makes it easier to press and easier to engage turning. Okay, so the Spring Break Twin is that quintessential middle of the road park flex. Playful tips, stiffer underfoot with a little bit more play between the feet and a decent amount of torsional flex. It's stable yet lively, which means it's not dead and damp. This is a board you're not gonna get bucked around or die on when you get into rutted out chunder, but at the same time, you might feel a little bit of vibration underneath your foot. There you go. That's all you need to know when it comes to the flex and stability of this board. This board has some serious snap and rebound out of it. You load it up and it pops. It's one of those boards that no matter how little you load it up, you're still going to get exceptional snap from it, which makes it versatile on jumps. It's great on small, medium, and large jumps. I would say that it's most at home on those medium-sized jumps, stuff about 25 to 40 feet. That's just where this board's really at home. It's stable enough to land those perfectly, yet it's got the snap you want just in case there's a headwind or it's that shovel head tip on the board sometimes catches when you're aggressively buttering. It would happen to me and just spin me right around. So be prepared for that. Now, overall, there is a sweet spot in this board right out in the tips. It's kind of right where the camber meets the like slight rocker zone. So you wanna make sure that you engage that perfectly. When it comes to jibbing, a little speed is the key with this board. It locks in exceptionally well. You're going to notice right away, it's a board that can handle a magnitude of tricks. It's great at doing tail or nose presses, and it does just fine getting sideways in a lip slide or a board slide. The big thing to know with this board is that it's got an asymmetrical side cut, which means it has a deeper heel side side cut compared to the toe. This is just due to body dynamics and the fact that we ride down the hill sideways. But with that said, this thing fucking rips. Oh my God, you can lay trenches with it. It is one of those boards that rolls from edge to edge. And when it's there, it just snaps through turns naturally. You'll find yourself just going into a carve and just popping right back out of it. It doesn't matter if it's just a tight, quick setup carve or one of those long drawn out hard carves. Any type of carve you do, this board will snap out of it. I'd recommend this board for the park rider that's going to have one board and go all over the mountain. Someone that's going to go in the park and then rip carves coming out of it. This board is great at carving, it's solid at jibbing, and it's exceptionally well at getting you in the air. Have some fun with it, and remember, asymmetrical side cuts don't suck and weird tip shapes shouldn't scare you. So what other asymmetrical twins are out there that you should be comparing this to? The Lago Double Barrel. The Ride Helix, The Greats from Yes, The Smokin' Asymmetrical, The GNU Headspace. Remember to comment, share, subscribe, and like this video. That way you can see all the relevant or irrelevant snowboarding content that we're putting out for you guys. So smash that bell down below, that way you're getting a notification. And I'll see you guys in another video. If you've been enjoying all these product reviews, and you haven't been buying through our affiliate program, which is down there, why don't you check out our Patreon? This is a great way for you to get involved with us. There's some great rewards on there, and it helps fund us so we can do more product reviews for you guys that enjoy what we're doing.